availability that will allow the attacker to read uh, the sensitive file from the system itself and uh, so to, in order to demonstrate uh, this vulnerability I am going to log in uh, to this dbwf vulnerable application and uh, before proceeding ahead let me show you that uh, the settings here dbwf security I, s I selected the low and put it somewhere I'll go to the file inclusion section. Um, here is that uh, this one name, uh, this one already resides. So one of the common ways to identify this kind of vulnerabilities is like uh, to look for the parameter where you can fetch the files. So as you can see in this scenario, uh, here is a page parameter which. Uh, I uh, you know which could retrieve the file from the server itself if you click file1.php it changed to file1.php if you click in the file2.php it's changing to file2.php similarly if you click in file3.php then it's changing to file3.php so this is the one of the ways that uh, to identify or to discover the LFI which is local file inclusion or it can be RFI remote file inclusion. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can, you know, exploit this local file inclusion vulnerability and have access to the system's confidential information such as, such as the ETC passwords and ETC host and other files. So let's go ahead. So I will replace this file name with uh, some custom file name let's suppose hello.php so that doesn't access uh, exist on the server itself so can we make this uh, to our custom one which is etc password which is one of the common file which resides on the server if as you can see we were successfully able to retrieve this file without any problem if you want to see the full file you will go to the uh, source code so you will go here right click and see the views selected uh, source then you can find the source uh, this file which contains the uh, root user and here is the dvwa users for which access to this so this is the way uh, to uh, to, re to read the file which resides on the system so let's try another which is uh, uh, etc shadow this file is also confidential file but i think uh, i think that uh, we don't have sufficient permission to read this file so let's try with etc host yes we can see the etc host information as you can see here so this uh, is uh, the common way to uh, you know, check whether this vulnerability exists or not. If this exists, then the attacker can uh, you know, perform the code execution, can lead to your cross-site scripting, can uh, retrieve the sensitive information from the server itself. So let's uh, go ahead to the different security level, which is uh, DVWA security to medium to test it this and uh, we will go to file inclusion we have the same type of setup here if we, let me zoom it and file 2 we see this parameter we need to check these parameters can we retrieve other file apart from file 1 file 2 file 3 so we will go ahead and use the same payload which we, has, which we were using before so etc password yes we can retrieve the etc password payload but i think that is coming from uh, my you know cache cache so what i will do i'll go to the new window and open it here to avoid any you know, confusions so in the new window i need to access this file but before accessing let me locked into dvwa
so I will log in to TVWA and here I will try to set up because by default it's on impossible mode so I will set up the TVWA and just set up this to medium and then submit so I will go to the file inclusion then the security label is now medium is selected so I will I'll do same thing here and let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see file 1 I will click on file 1 it's changing to file 1 file 2 it's changing to file 2 same same way file 3 is changing to file 3 so let's check the same possibility which we can retrieve this password yes still we can retrieve this password uh, I'm not sure why this uh, is retrieving the password without dot dot can we try with the dot dot since uh, this is the medium security level and this should not be supposed to be like that yes see here you are not able to access this file etc file so there is uh, if you look at the view source code here we this is that uh, dot dot forward slash uh, so slash dot dot backward slash they are you know replacing with this uh, uh, this uh, means uh, doing some kind of filtering is performing yeah so this is the one of the way which i showed to you that you can bypass using using that without dot dot and slash so this is one way another way is uh, you will make it you know the query or the double double dot dot so it should be like dot dot and i'll make four dot and then double dot uh, double slash then four dot double slash four dot double slash four dot double slash sorry it was too and i'll, I'll change it here to four and uh, this uh, this way uh, we will test it whether we can retrieve this file no still we don't get a success on that so we will try different payloads here to test it whether we can pass this uh, filtering which is uh, if you see here uh, it's mentioned that uh, they are you know replacing this dot dot slash dot dot backward slash with uh, nothing which is just, they are just kind of you know eliminating these things so i have created a couple of payloads so we'll go one by one and test these payloads so this is let's just this one somewhere i put it dot somewhere i don't put it dot so let's go ahead and test this one one of the file which we have here sorry this is the file let me close the other which we were not using now this is the TVWA and uh, here we will use the medium one ptc password successfully able to retrieve the password file and now we will use this payload which I showed to you yes still we can achieve this file but this payload is totally different because I drafted this payload via double slash, somewhere triple slash, and then somewhere one slash. So if that is going to eliminate these two, then it's still one dot, and this dot will make it and complete the whole scenario. Let's test this one. This is another one. I'll close uh, the source code. We'll go to the file section. yes still we can retrieve this in, in this file if you think that is not a different payload so i can play some some words here so they cannot retrieve these things but uh, the payload is working fine with with uh, doubling of each uh, dot dot with four dot and two slashes so this payload is also working in that case 
and let's try with this one which is I put a couple of slashes and then dot mm, and in this way let's see whether we can retrieve password etc file yes still by using this payload we can retrieve if you think that uh, so I showed you that uh, we have at least one two three three payloads which can retrieve this file and can bypass on this filter which was configured uh, to no, not to retrieve the file with dot dot slash and dot dot backward slash and this is for uh, remote file inclusion so uh, in different video we will cover remote file inclusion so let's go ahead and change this security level to high and let's see what we can do in that case uh, I'll go to the DVWA and change this ADM to Y and click on submit. And then I'll go again to the file inclusion section. And in file inclusion, I'll test the same same thing at file one. Yes, the parameter is changing to file one. I'll go back and click on file two. Yes, it's changing to file two. And file three. Yes, it's changing to file three. So there are possibility that this parameter is one level this is the way which we usually discover so I will start with the initial payload which is etc password so you see that it's throwing error which just says that file is not found can we use the two different payloads which is here so if we go ahead and copy this payload and paste it here now still we cannot so that means they have filled uh, they have blocked or kind of filtering which is not letting us execute these payloads so we have to see this the source or that section but i am going to demonstrate to you that these payloads now is not working in high security level is working right now so what I will do I'll go ahead and just uh, uh, put it uh, to DVWA and look for that file look for this view source and see what's happening here if you see they uh, they have put the input validation if uh, anything matches with file star and file is equal to include.php that is allow otherwise it will throw this error so we have to craft a payload which uh, should start with file so I have a one crafted payload for file so let's use this one the file is equal to and we will replace this value which is include.php and uh, try to retrieve the file yes as you can see right now we were successfully able to retrieve the file while using this um, uh, file uh, colon and uh, triple, uh, triple slash etc password so that's the way you know you have to test each and every combination because you are not sure in the real environment how the things are working and what kind of controls are put in place and uh, if so um, we have to design or customize our payload or you can say crafted new payload based on, uh, on the error or the error which we generally receive so let's go to the dvwa impossible area so we have selected the dvwa impossible and click on submit and then we will go again to the file inclusion we'll see this concept again yes we have seen all of them now the last payload which was working here was a file inclusion one so i'll try again with the file the file one but unfortunately it's not working so can we uh, can we see that why they call they are calling it impossible so if we see the view source here you can see that uh, they are you know only allowing the include 
dot php and file one and file two file three so uh, apart from this everything they will throw this error so uh, this is the way to identify and to exploit this vulnerability